welcome to London. Hello and welcome to the History Lord channel. Today I'm going to be looking at another piece of my local history and uh, tell you all about a certain chap uh, behind the plaque that I saw the other day. Now I'd always known that the youngest recipient of the Victoria Cross was a chap called Jack Cornwall and I know he was 16 when he received the uh, Victoria Cross himself but I never really delved into why or how he actually got this uh, accolade. So I did some delving when I found the plaque of where he was born which is about uh, a mile or so from where I am at the moment. So John Travers Cornwall was born on the uh, 8th of January 1900 and he was born at Clyde Cottage in uh, Leighton. Now his uh, father was, I've got to read this off because uh, he had a fairly big family, he had two older, he had a younger brother, an older brother and a sister and his father was Eli and his mother was Alice. Well he went to the Farmer Road uh, School until 1910 when his family moved from Leighton to Manor Park. And it's Manor Park is where he's more associated with, but he was born in Leighton. Now, when war broke out in 1914, he tried to join the Navy, but was far too young at the age of 14. But a year later, <clears throat> in 1915, armed with references from his old headmaster and his employer, but without permission from his father, he joined the Royal Navy as a boy. Now, that was a rank they had back then. They had boy second and first class. Well, he did well in training and he emerged there as boy first class. He joined HMS Chester and uh, sailed away to the Battle of Jutland. On the 31st of May 1916 HMS Chester was engaged during that battle with four um, cruisers, uh, German cruisers, and unfortunately uh, the gun emplacement in which uh, Jack was a sight setter uh, took a direct hit, one, more than one direct hit. All of his crew were either killed or wounded, Jack himself was wounded, but he remained at his post waiting for orders. Now the battle ended, HMS Chester was ordered back to Grimsby and that's where his officers found him. He was found, stood by his gun, awaiting instructions for the battle. Now he was taken to Grimsby, unfortunately that's where he died of his injuries on the 2nd of June 1916. He was just 16 years old. Well the Navy provided a coffin and they sent him back down to London to be with his family and he was buried in a common grave in the Manor Park Cemetery. Now it was a few weeks later, the Daily Sketch um, received, a, and his parents received a letter from uh, his commanding officer, and the Daily Sketch ran a story saying how brave this young lad was. So much so that on the 29th of July, his body was exhumed and he was given a full military honours funeral, uh, again at Manor Park Cemetery. Now, there are other things about Jack Cornwall, and that was there was a big press campaign uh, to show recognition for his bravery. And it was in September of 1916 that the news came through that he was being awarded the highest honour for valour, the Victoria Cross. And the citation reads, and I do read this, I want to get it properly right. The King has been graciously pleased to approve the grant of Victoria Cross to boy first class John Travers Cornwall, for conspicuous act of bravery specified below. Mortally wounded early in action, boy first class John Travers Cornwall remained standing alone with the gun's crew dead and wounded all around him. His age was under 16 and a half years. Well, his Victoria Cross was given posthumously. And uh, as I say, John Cornwall's memory does live on. There is the blue plaque uh, near to where the cottage was where he was born. Uh, there's also his grade two listed uh, gravestone in the Manor Park Cemetery. The Boy Scouts have the Cornwall Award, which is for, uh, i get this right, it's a badge which is awarded for high character and devotion to duty. And also in 2006, uh, Jack Cornwall was remembered on a Royal Mail stamp uh, commemorating the 150th anniversary of the Victoria Cross. Now, I'll leave today with just the quote from his gravestone, and I think it's rather apt. It is not wealth or ancestry, but honourable conduct and noble disposition that makes men great. For someone like Jack Cornwall, I think it was very apt. 
Well, if you've enjoyed the video, then please do give it a like. If you've enjoyed watching the channel, then please subscribe. And if you want to know any more about us, then please click on the notifications and that'll tell you when we're putting more videos out or popping messages up on YouTube. If you want to see what I do outside of lockdown, then please go to historylord.co.uk and uh, have a look and see if one of my walking tours takes your fancy. Apart from that, take care of yourself and I'll see you very soon.